and we also want to talk about self directed learning so what is self directed learning it's a process in which individuals take the initiative they themselves decide okay what they want to learn and how they want to learn it whether they should get the help of others or not whether they need a teacher or not whether they want to learn on their own if they want to learn on their own how do they want to learn whether they should learn by watching tv or going through dictionaries or what do they want to do they decide they take the initiative they make the decision that is why it is self directed not teacher directed but self directed learning learners try to diagnose their learning needs what do they need to learn they first identify that then they identify their goals they set goals for themselves then they identify resources for learning then they select and implement the learning strategies this is what learners do in self directed learning we can have a completely self directed learning program or a partly teacher directed learning program with some self directed materials in between okay here also you can you have this link here this link will give you some more information about self directed learning at each slide at the bottom of the slide you will see the source okay or a link that's given there there if you go to that slide place we will in on the web you will be able to find more materials on that now self learning and teachers what should the teachers do in self learning the teacher should become managers they are not just teachers teaching everything to the students themselves taking care of the whole responsibility for teaching but they may, they become managers and they help the students learn on their own by providing resources to them they help the students identify the needs they help the students select the appropriate materials so in all this learners corpora learner corpora is going to be of use to us so the teachers also will use the learner corpora to help the students identify the needs select the materials and find out how to what type of examination or testing they should have to find out whether they have learnt or not and identify the goals and strategies and all that okay there will be a variety of options for learning so the teachers can help the learners choose the correct way of learning according to their uh, uh, preferred learning style some of you learn by listening to lectures some of you learn by watching something some of you want to read on your own and learn so all types of learners can benefit by learning through their own preferred way of learning for this the teachers will help so here you see a link here this will tell you more about what the teachers are supposed to do in self directed learning self learning and learners what are the learners supposed to do in self learning they have to take up the responsibility for deciding what to learn how to learn how much to learn how well to learn some learner may think say okay if i learn 50% it's fine with me that's enough for me i don't want to get 90 or 100% in this so they may stop learning there so they take the responsibility they decide how much to learn and how well to learn okay and they take an active role in learning they find out every opportunity to learn so the learner corpora if it's available online a good self learner will go and use that learner corpora to improve his or her learning as much as he wants how well to learn is his own decision for some of you may want to develop native like competence so some of you may go on learning after you complete your ma elt after you leave the institution and you have the web with you wherever you go and you may continue to learn you take the responsibility to decide whether to continue learning or whether you want to just complete your examination and stop learning this decision is also yours in learner this thing so here again you have learner and sdl if you go to this teachingstylesonline.com site you will find this material there so i am only presenting a small bit of it but the whole thing will be there now we are coming back to our main topic learner corpora and self learning how do they go together so learner corpora helps in describing learner's language so what are his needs how do you identify first you have to describe the language that he is speaking what is the interlanguage how does 
what is the kind of inter language he has developed, the particular learner has developed. Once you identify that, you can identify his needs and you can show him the materials that are that will be useful to him. Suppose this uh, is inter language has problems in article. The article system does not match the English article system, but he has some influence from Gujarati. Okay, in Gujarati you don't use articles. Suppose this is the problem, the material will show them, the learner's material will show them how to improve this, how to overcome this problem. So the learner Kapra will help in two ways. One is in describing learner language, second is in identifying interlanguage. So one is learners can understand where they are and decide the goal they want to reach. Okay, Where they are and where they want to be, they can decide. Another is they can find the materials that are based on this kind of understanding, understanding the basic system. So this is how learner corpora and self-learning are linked together here. So you can just search internet and learn on your own. So you have a form, you are not sure whether it's a correct for usage or not. What do you do? You go and search. You can just go to Google and put in that form and see how many uh, sites come up or how you can see the, say if you, uh, how many sites are using that form or how many are using a different form. So you can find out that. You can understand the context where a language pattern can be used. Okay, you, the, those words or phrases are used in sentences. So you can find out those patterns there. Then you can understand the limitation of the specific patterns. You can find clarifications. How can you do all this? The next slide will show you how this is going to happen. There is a, this video you might have watched or we can watch a little bit of that video again here. So first is you just go to google.com and find out the frequency. How many, how much time, how many people are using it? What is the number? And second I gave you in the video, you must have seen this googlefight.com. This use, gives you two ways of using some form. The same form is used in two ways. Then they find out which is the correct form. For example, there's one example given in that video. If any of you remember that, type it out in the Google chat and I'll find out. The video also gives you this webcorp.org. This is Learner Corpora. So that's why it's the site is named as webcorp.org. There it gives you say beautiful day. Have a beautiful day. Is that a uh, correct usage or not? Okay, it is a beautiful day today. But can you say we have a beautiful day, is it right or not? In concordance, you have to go and search. There is something called a quick search, that is K-W-I-C search. What is that quick search? Keyword in context search. Keyword in context search. Okay, that is called a quick search. Okay, let us finish this um, PowerPoint and watch this video a little bit to get, a, get an idea of what that video says. For self-directed learning, these are the resources. And for corpus linguistics, what is corpus linguistics? There's a book here on Google. You cannot copy from the book because it's not copyable. The text is not copyable, but you can read it and cut an image form of that, print it out and read it and use it for your this thing. So let me just 